Hey everybody, if you're a beginner singer, I have seven stage presence tips that you can use when you're feeling nervous, self-conscious, and you're not really sure what to do when you're singing. Now these stage presence tips, you can use in any situation and you can get started right away. So keep watching. My name's Karen Page and this is The Performing Voice. So if you're a beginner singer and you're struggling with your confidence and you're kind of feeling a little insecure on stage, I hate to break it to you, but the audience can totally tell. We can see it when we see you performing. But don't worry, it's okay. There are ways that you can fix it. And a lot of your stage presence actually just comes with time and practice. But there are some stage presence tips that you can use so you look confident, even if you don't really feel confident on the inside. So the first way that you can improve your stage presence is film yourself and watch the footage. So if you're in rehearsal or even if you're in your room, turn on your phone, get a camera, and film yourself singing. And I guarantee you, when you watch the footage, you will literally see yourself from a new perspective and be totally surprised at how you look on stage. And it might be kind of uncomfortable at first for you to actually look at yourself. It's kind of embarrassing. The same way that listening to your voice on a recording can be embarrassing until you get used to it. But here's the thing. You gotta watch that footage and you gotta feel all those nervous, like embarrassing feelings so you can work through them and then start looking at your performance footage with a really critical eye because it's gonna make a huge difference in your ability to kind of study your moves, study your gestures and see what's working and what's not working. So you might not realize that when you're on stage, you're doing all kinds of things that you don't know you're doing. Like you might be fidgeting with your hands, you might be looking down at the ground, you might be looking up at the ceiling, whatever you can do to make yourself feel more comfortable when you're performing. And sometimes those little like nervous gestures, they just don't make you look confident. But when you start taking notes and applying what you want to be doing instead of what you are doing will make a huge difference. So make sure you record yourself, watch the footage, study it, and see what you can do to improve it. And that will make huge differences in your stage presence. My number two way to improve your stage presence is remember to have fun. If you're feeling nervous when you're on stage, the audience can see it. If you don't look like you're having a good time, the audience can tell. And as a singer and an entertainer, it's your job to give the energy to the crowd and they'll give it back to you. So if you're not having a good time, they're not having a good time. So before you go out on stage, just remember to have fun. Remember why you're doing this because you love singing and it's something you dream about all the time and now you're actually getting to do it. So if you're having fun, you will look way more confident on stage and it will totally improve your stage presence too. Tip number three to improve your stage presence is take the microphone out of the stand. So if you're the kind of singer where you use a microphone for your performances, don't leave that microphone in the stand when you sing. Okay, because it's gonna force you to stay in one position the whole time. You might even like put your hands on the microphone, cover your face, and it gives you like this imaginary force field that you think is protecting you and it's this imaginary wall between you and the audience. That's not a good look. Some of the best advice that I ever got really early on in my professional singing career was from the band manager who was watching me at rehearsal and I was the only singer in the band who kept the microphone in the stand. And he said, hey, if you wanna hold that mic, take it out of the stand, move it off to the side. Otherwise, leave the mic in the stand and use your hands, free up your body, do movements, one or the other. 
So if you're the kind of singer who loves to rely on leaving the microphone in the stand and then you put your hands on it and you grab it and hold it for dear life because you think it's protecting you from your own like anxieties. Whew. Let go of the microphone stand. Take it out and sing with it in your hand. And move the stand to the side. Tip number four to improve your stage presence is stand up straight with your shoulders back. Now, your whole body is always connected to your singing performance, whether you're used to it or not. And when you stand up straight and tall with your shoulders back, you automatically look confident. And that is true for singing and for life. So get into having good posture. It will automatically make you command attention from anybody who looks at you. Like you own this stage, you own this house, and everybody here is your guest to the party, right? And good posture is also really beneficial as a singer, period, point blank, because it opens up your whole torso, it opens up your lungs, it opens up your rib cage, it gives your voice somewhere to resonate. <sighs> and it helps you breathe. So stand up straight and tall, and you'll look great on stage, and you'll look really confident. Tip number five is acknowledge the audience. You guys, you have to acknowledge the audience. Don't look down at your feet the whole time. Don't look up at the sky the whole time. Don't look at the band the whole time. There are a group of people who are looking at you, so look back at them. It's a lot like conversations. If you're not making eye contact with people, it's kind of a disrespectful gesture. I mean, you know, we all do it. It's like, you know, everybody's used to looking at their phones, da da da, da all the things, right? But when you're an entertainer and you're putting on a show, you have to look out at the audience. And if that freaks you out, and the thought of making eye contact is really intimidating, is gonna make you feel super nervous, here are some ways that you can kind of cheat a little bit and do a little life hack. So, don't worry, I'm not gonna be like, oh, just imagine the audience naked and it'll be like super easy to be confident in front of them. Mm -mm. That is like the worst advice ever. I would never tell you to do that. I will tell you to do this. You don't have to look at their eyes. You look at the top of their heads or the tippy top of their heads. That's good enough. It kind of like tricks you so you don't feel like you're making eye contact, but you're still projecting up and out. Another thing you can try is just look at the back of the room. Sometimes there'll be an exit light that kind of shines bright if the rest of the venue is really dark. Focus on the exit light. If you don't see an exit light, just focus on the back of the room. It projects your focus forward as opposed to down or too hot. And when it's time to take pictures or you're being filmed, it'll look really, really good because you're just staring straight ahead. So acknowledge the audience. Another tip for acknowledging the audience is to talk to them. Now this might not apply to you if you're in musical theater and you kind of have to keep that fourth wall up because it's a play. But if you're giving the kind of performance where it's a little bit more casual and you totally have the freedom to talk to the crowd, you should talk to the crowd. I mean, every single concert you've ever seen at some point, the singer asks the crowd how they're doing tonight, right? Everybody, y'all have ready to have a good time. How y'all doing? Yeah. It kind of breaks the ice, right? And it lets everybody know we're all here to have a good time. And just like I said earlier in the video, when you're singing, you're the host of the party. It's your show. It's your house. And you have to be a good host to your guests. So if you're not talking to them, if you're not engaging with them, trying to connect with them, Kind of being a crappy host so get into it feel comfortable and feel in control it's your job 
to reach out to them and ask them how they're doing. It's not their job to reach out to you and ask you how you're doing. Tip number six, move your body. So you might not feel comfortable totally dancing, doing choreography, all the things, but you have to move your body when you sing. Something, anything, because music is meant to make you move, right? Even if it's rock music, if it's opera, if it's musical theater, if it's gospel, if it's pop, if it's sad, if it's happy, if it's any kind of music, it's got a beat and it's got a groove. So you gotta move. Now, if you don't feel like you have dance skills, that's okay. Music has a built-in rhythm. So just follow the rhythm. It could be as simple as like bobbing your head, chugging your shoulders, doing your two-step, just something. So maybe the kind of performance you're giving isn't really well suited for a lot of dancing. Maybe you're singing a ballad, or maybe you're singing a really melancholy song. You still have the freedom to move around. Don't feel like you have to stand in one spot like a popsicle stick or like you're stuck in this box. Don't be afraid to move and explore the space that you have, whatever that means to you. If you're singing a sad, melancholy song, you can totally emote, like use your face, move your head from side to side, move it up, move it to the thing, move it to the side, blah, blah, blah. You know, reach out your hands, like pump your fist, bring it out to the audience. There's all kinds of little tricks that you can do to get your movement together. But don't stand straight because it will make you look like you're a deer caught in the headlights, like you're totally frozen and like you're not comfortable and you're not having a good time. So tip number seven to improve your stage presence is very simple, smile. This tip might seem totally like unnecessary, like duh, of course you're supposed to smile when you're on stage, but I can guarantee you if you're not having a good time and you're feeling insecure and you're really shy, the last thing you're gonna be doing is smiling. And just like moving your body isn't always maybe the natural action that you take based on what the song is all about, sometimes it doesn't always feel natural to smile. But this is why I'm telling you to smile. I almost never did it when I was first starting out. And then somebody pulled me aside and said, you should really smile more when you sing. You don't look like you're having a good time. And at first, I was a little bit offended because I don't like people telling me what to do, but they were right. I looked at that footage and I was like, oh, I thought I was being fierce and like being way too cool for school. But when I'm looking at it, it's like, I just come off really intense and intimidating and it's like not the vibe for the party because this is a party atmosphere, right? So smile. A little bit goes a long way. And there's different kinds of smiles too. It's not always just like, hello, I'm sitting for my you know, high school yearbook portrait kind of smile. There's the too cool for school smile. There's the, hey, I'm a swinging jazz cat, baby, kind of smile. There's like <laughs> the super cheesy 80s, like we're here, we're getting it, yeah, kind of smile. Like there's all kinds. Even the most arrogant rapper or the most like hardcore death metal growler can find a smile that works and that's appropriate. It doesn't have to be a 24 seven smile, but just use your face, be expressive, tell a story when you're singing your song. And it's gonna be a lot more entertaining for the audience to look at you if you're putting on a show. So don't be afraid to put on a show. All right, y'all, those were seven ways that you can improve your stage presence right away. If you're a beginner singer or you're an experienced singer who kind of 
has a tendency to get nervous and not really know what to do with yourself. So I hope you learned something today. Go ahead and like this video if you did and subscribe so you can check out more of my content. And feel free to leave me a comment below. I've got a free download for you. It's called The Singer's Guide to Superstar Confidence. And if you want to download that, the link is below in the show notes. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.